Good day to all our viewers out there. My name is Heinrich Nietlen and welcome to Mathematical Literacy. In today's lesson, we'll be looking at the topic of finance, more specifically at budgets, income and expenditure statements, profit and loss. Now let's get straight to this. Please make sure that you have your book, calculator and pens ready. Okay, so let's look at the first practice sum. We are saying here, Nomsa is a salesperson at a car dealership. She earns a basic salary of 12,000, my apology for that, let's quickly go back, a basic salary of 12,750 rand per month plus commission. In the month of April 2023, she is expected to make 35,000 rand in commission plus a bonus of 10,800 rand. Her estimated monthly expenses are water, that is 400 rand, electricity, 1,500 rand, a rent of 6,800 rand, car repayment of 3,999 rand, a cell phone of 650 rand, groceries 3,100 rand, as well as entertainment of 2,000 rand. So what is it that we need to do? It says further on, draw up NOMSA's budget for the month of April 2023. Now let's see how we will go about. So yeah, I gave you an outline, more or less of what a budget should look like, Important to note, we have our income and we should have our expenses. And then also important is to total them at the end. Okay, so now I'll start off by indicating what was given to me, all the income. We are saying here she earns a basic salary. So I'm going to indicate that as the salary. And the basic salary is 12,750 rand per month. Then also what else can be seen as an income, that will be her expected commission of 35,000 rand. So I'll indicate here commission and that will be 35,000 rand. That will also be an income. And then also she will receive a bonus of 10,800 rand. So therefore I'll indicate bonus is seen as an income. So therefore I'll add the 10,000 800 rand to my income column. Okay, so there's all my income. Now I'm going to list all my expenses before I total them. It says here bullet number two, uh, estimated monthly income, or sorry, expenses are water and electricity. So we split the two. First it's water, that will be 400 rand. Then we have electricity, which is also an expense. A variable one that will be 1500 then we have the rent right so that's a fixed expense for that matter and that will be 6800 rand we have our car repayment so that's the restore installment the car repayment okay that will be 3999 rand she has also a cell phone that she needs to pay that will be 650 rand and then groceries and the groceries per month here amounts to 3100 and then lastly for entertainment NOMSA will spend 2000 rand so entertainment okay so for the entertainment I will add the 2,000 rand. So therefore, let's see. Let's add all our income. So 12,750 plus the 35,000 rand. That's the commission plus the bonus of 10,800. So therefore, income, total income for the month will be 58,550 rand. Okay, so I added all the income. Now move over to the expenses. So therefore, I'm going to add 400 plus 1,500, plus 6,800, plus 3,999. Let me just go back. I instead said minus, plus 3,999 rent, plus 650 rent, plus 3,100 for groceries, and then lastly, 2,000 rent for entertainment. So that will take us to 18,400 49 rand. As you can see, NOMSA's income is definitely far more than 
uh, expenses, which is positive. Okay, let's now move on. The second example here, or question says, the following is an income and expenditure statement for Lana's boutique for a specific month. Right, so let's get familiar. We have on the left-hand side our expenditure, which is divided into operating cost and then your production cost. Then we have on our right-hand side the income, right, for dresses sold and fittings. Then we also have a few missing values, which is M and N that we need to calculate. All right, so let's look at question number one. So 1.1, 1 .1, calculate the value of M. So here is M. Okay, so looking at M, I can see that the total is given for this specific production cost here, now, which is 51,000. So therefore, I'll take then the 51,000 and I sub will subtract the fabric used and the other material used, okay, to get whatever the seamstress wage will be. Because these three amounts, if you add them together, they should give you your total for the production cost. So let's quickly look at this one by saying 51,000 minus the 32,000 for the fabric used minus the 11,700 rand that is for other material used. Let's quickly type that in. So it's 51,000 minus 32,000 minus 11,700 that gives you an amount of 7,300 rand. So meaning the seamstress will get a wage of 7,300 rand. All right, let's look at our next question. Question 1.2, we are saying here, calculate the value of N. So here is N. Looking at this, N, which is the total, consists of the dresses sold and the fittings. Now, so that will give you income. So therefore, I'll take the 75,000 rand plus my 4,180 rand to see what the total will be, the total income. Okay, so let's type that in, 75,000 rand plus 4,180 rand, and that should give you a total income of 79,180 rand. Okay, so I added the dresses sold to the fittings, and that gives me a total income of 79,180 rand. Okay, now let's move on to our next question. It says here 1.3, provide two fixed costs for this business. Now, if I look, my fixed cost will be on this side or on the side of the expenditure. So the first one I pick up here is rental. Same amount. Remember what is fixed cost? is the same amount on a month-to-month -month basis. And then that will also be the seamstress wage, whatever they will pay, seamstress wage. So that will be your two fixed cost for this specific business. All right, now let's look at the next question. It wants to know, did Lana make a profit or a loss during this month, right? Verify your answer by showing all calculation. How do I calculate profit or loss? What's the formula again? All right, we're basically going to take all our income minus our expenses. Okay, so now let's quickly look at what is the income, right? That will consist of the 75,000 plus the 4,180 rand. So as previously calculated, the income is 79,180 rand minus the expenses. Now looking at this, the expenditure consists of the production cost, 51,000, plus operating cost of 10,800. So I'm going to add the two together, 10,800 plus 51,000, so that will give me 61,800, right? So therefore, I will say 61,800. So you take your income, 79,180 rand, minus your 61,800 rand, which is your expenditure, that should give you 17,380 rand. And we can conclude now that Lana will make a profit since the income is more than the expenses. So the profit will be 17,380.
80 Rand. All right, now let's move on to our next question. It says here, 1.5, determine the profit margin. You may use the following formula. Profit margin equals your profit divided by income multiplied by 100%. So therefore, we calculated what is the profit. That will be 17,380 rand divided by your income. Now let's quickly just double check. Income is the 75,000 plus the 4,180. Total income, 79,180 rand. And remember to multiply that by 100. So let's go through this by saying 17,380 rand divided by your 79,180, which is your income, multiplied by 100. Okay, so that should give us a percentage of 21,949,8737%. All right, I hope that is clear. Guys, let us take a quick break. After the break, we will continue with more questions. See you soon. Music